Welcome to Toffee TV, the Everton News Daily. Obviously, we're still in the international weekend or, or week, whatever. We're still suffering, aren't we? Um, Richarlison is on the bench tonight for Brazil versus Argentina. As I record this video, it still hasn't kicked off. So we'll have more news on that tomorrow, but he starts on the bench. Obviously, Jordan Pickford played last night for England in a 3-2 victory against Spain in a very, very entertaining game. Uh, Jordan Pickford, never too far away from the action, uh, helped set up two goals last night and also uh, was part of a major incident where um, he lost control of the ball in his own area. Cleared it with a sliding tackle, may have fouled the player, took an elbow to the face and overall just is a little bit mad and out there. But also saved the ball in the opening minutes by making a some kind of mad dive when the ball was nowhere near him and when the ball was near him it hit him on the head and uh, he made a save. Um, yeah, he's, people love him. I'd like him to calm down a little bit with, with the ball at his feet. But apart from that, he's uh, he's outstanding. And for a 24-year-old, I think people just love what he has to offer and the fact that he's just himself and it doesn't really come across as one of these footballers that um, lacks personality, let's just say. So, yeah, he was in the thick of the action last night as England won. Uh, Gilfie Sigerson's Iceland, they were beaten by Switzerland. Not a very good sort of opening period for Iceland since the World Cup they got a draw over the weekend against France but obviously that was just a friendly but in terms of the uh, the new European league your UEFA league they have not started too well so they were beaten 2-1 last night um, yeah so hopefully you know no more problems concerning our players Ghana obviously came back with a knock from Senegal, we'll have to wait and see how how he develops. Um, Zaha for Crystal Palace has come back from an injury from international duty as well, so it'll be interesting to see how that story develops ahead of the weekend. Obviously, their talisman, their real real top talent, so he's come back from international duty as well. But um, that's it, really, from international duty. Lucas Digne did an interview over the weekend with uh, the newspaper Le Parisien. I don't think we covered it yesterday, but he had to say about his time at Everton. He said, uh, he said, have you? He asked him how he adopted. He said the Premier League is great with incredible matches every week. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm going to. Uh, a thousand miles by the hour there are a lot of spaces huge duels physically it takes a lot more effort in the first game against Huddersfield I had cramps in the 71st minute it's been years since I've had one of them uh, he said looking at the stats I saw that, uh, that I was run a lot more they asked him why he chose Everton he said uh, I had a lot of proposals but when I had the coach Michael Silver on the phone I immediately wanted to join him I only saw myself playing near and either to play and feel the confidence of a coach who likes side attacks. This is exactly what I needed for my career. And he said, he asked him how he'd adopted, adapted to life. He said, yes, I'm settled in Manchester. It's a bigger city where there is a small community of French people and players. Uh, people are, he said, I was presently surprised uh, after the food is different. He said, I cook a, l a little and I struggle to find organic products, but I find little by little. Um, there you have it. He's obviously adjusting. He's obviously settling to life at Everton, and he's shown that on the pitch and, and doing well. Got himself back in the French team, and obviously started the uh, game the other night. And France play Germany tonight in the UEFA Nations League with Lucas Digne and Kurt Zuma starting on the bench in that game tonight. In the ass. There's talk in Turkey from the the site Fanatic that he has agreed to move to Galatasaray in principle there's an agreement in place and it's up to the two clubs to do the deal uh, this has been spoken about for a while hasn't it regarding Nias moving to Turkey I imagine that could be getting done either January or in the summer January would probably be better if Everton can bring someone in I think Everton needs to if Everton could bring in someone who's going to challenge for that for that first you know, for first role in the team, a uh, uh, number nine, then he might see himself s slip down the pecking order and leave the club. And I think, to be honest, I think that would suit everybody, if we're honest. So, um, 
obviously it's ramping up in the uh, in the Turkish press, but I'm sure we'll find out. So about about uh, about 12 weeks, I think something like that. A little bit less till the transfer window opens. So we'll uh, we'll wait and see on that one. Anyway, that has been your Everton news daily for today. Hopefully we get all of our players back fit and healthy for the trip from Crystal Palace to Goodison Park on Sunday. We'll see you later.